<coughs> now you've probably seen this graph being shared around, but what does it actually mean? That scary steep curve looks bad because it means the virus is spreading quickly and affecting a much larger number of people. And the flatter curve generally reflects the ideal situation where there is a slower infection rate over time. But how flat should this curve be and why is it important? Now, the answer depends on a straight line in the graph that's often missed. On all these graphs, regardless of which country it's from, there should be a line that reflects the health system's capacity. This means if the country has additional capacity available to them, they stand a better chance of managing the influx of new patients. However, that does not mean this line is the same everywhere, and more importantly, the aim is to keep the lower curve as flat as possible. Now, why is this the case? Although the virus is taking centre stage in the media, it's important to remind ourselves that none of the other medical conditions, diseases or accidents have taken time off. In fact, they're still happening every single day. During difficult times, emergency services have had to prioritise some patients and become unable to help others when they're overwhelmed. Our society cannot function without an effective healthcare system. When patients succumb to relatively minor but potentially life-threatening conditions because others sicker or younger than them get prioritised, then our health system has essentially collapsed. Apart from slowing down the spread of the virus, this is the reason why there has been widespread shutdown all around the world. And so, by flattening the curve, we reduce the pressure on our limited health resources that are crucial not only in the fight against the virus, but also for every other medical condition. Because when doctors and healthcare workers get sick, our medical system and the society it sustains will struggle to function. So please, do your part and keep yourself as well as others safe by spending more time at home and stopping the spread of the virus. This way, we can also prevent causing unnecessary harm to the people trying to help us. Seek advice from your doctor or local health service via a phone call or telehealth service of your choice. Call first so they can prepare for your visit. Give appropriate advice and prevent the spread to others. Review your trusted resources to avoid misinformation and visit local health advisory websites for more information.